Okay, so hey all, uh, come back. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about object repository. Okay, and what are the types of object repositories? And after that, if time permits, we will see what is a merge repository, what is a merge repository, and how to do that. Okay, so we are going to see all these. So object repository, types of object repository. Muted. Unmuted. Okay. I think all of you can hear properly now. So what is an object repository? So as I was telling in the last session, if you are going with the descriptive programming, you no need to have a Hello. Okay. Sorry for the uh, problem. In this object Q, uh, object repository plays very vital role in the QTP if you are going with the object repository based scripting or a frame, when you go for a day, framework day work no. So if you are following object repository so to store the objects and object details, then it is then it becomes a heart of a QTP okay, without which the QTP doesn't work at all okay even when you record even when you record an action on any object in the web based application or window based application okay what a QTP does is it stores the object properties with the runtime property values in the object repository okay <clears throat> so where this object repository is available okay as I explained in the last class okay you will be having that object repository under the resource tab is the object repository either you can go directly from here or you can click this option over here like this okay or you will have a control R okay okay so why I am telling the different options is if you are going for a test now you are going for a QTP admission uh, certification test so they may be asked there in the you might be having the questions so where this object repository option is available so what is the shortcut key for the object repository key these kind of questions will be available in the certification exam okay now we got the object repository window okay now <coughs> sorry here you see test objects and the checkpoint and output objects this belongs to the action one as of now so since we don't have any actions created in this one by default when we open a QTP as I said earlier only by default one action will be there so the objects which will be stored in this test object now those belongs to the action one there we have a different type of uh, object repositories okay that we'll see later part first we'll understand the object repository in complete when you record so by default it will create the object and object properties in the object repository or else you can manually load the objects into the object repository as well okay so how to do that one is so I think already you have learned how to record okay you might be knowing how to record and all let me I am going to take one live application okay which you can download from the website I like uh, I'll give the website URL and all after the class okay that is the object application name is active time okay now I will record actions on this one I'll record action on this application now what will happen in the object repository we will see okay and how we are recording we are recording the context sensitive recording mode we are recording our actions on the application in a context context sensitive recording mode okay that means what QTP does QTP 
records and stores objects it works on only other object properties and property values out on the location array it, it won't go it is not going to capture the mouse movement array keyboard movement so which which will be done in analog recording mode and low level recording mode now i done with the recording now i'll stop the qtp what exactly we have done now we already application was open okay already application was open and we recorded our actions on a qtp on a application okay so <coughs> sorry so while recording what we have done okay so what we have done while recording so oh, we have entered username we have entered a password when we clicked on a login element okay now we will go and see in the object repository how these are stored okay those will be stored as a test objects as i told there is a difference between the test object and the runtime object so what is a runtime object the objects which are present inside the application the web elements which are present on the application so that is called as a aut application under test those are called as a runtime objects and the objects which are already available inside the object repository those are called as a test objects now here you see the we, we entered the username so it has stored these three properties okay and with respect to values these values are coming from the runtime object view source i uh, the day i show you now right so these value will be taken from the source of the application so that's a duty of the qtp to, to read the properties values from the qtp if the property values has been mentioned it will read it if not it will be shown as a blank okay now so to check whether it is identified identify whether it is stored respective property object okay inside the QT, uh, object repository or not we need to check so then we will be having an option over here highlight in the application okay we want to know whether this object is a proper object with respect to the application when we are going to play back the script whether it is going to identify the required object only or not to check before we run so what we can do we can make use of this highlight in application option by selecting the required object now i will select this login okay now this login is been uh, developed as a link on the application but it looks like a button so but so that is why we have to make use of a object spy to know the details of a object on a runtime application now here you see it is getting highlighted so it means that qtp has recorded the action perfectly okay now this is one way of storing the objects inside the objects repository but <coughs> sorry another way is i don't want to record the actions on the application i want to add objects independently without recording to the object repository okay so most of the time so we in industry what we do is we don't record the actions on the application okay because when you go for an in, when you go into industry and you work for now you will be given one object repository file itself only because already tl or a project manager would have stored all the objects in a one single file okay and he will give that file to you to start writing the script for the test cases you have been assigned okay in that case what we will be doing in that case what we will do okay so before going to that one what i will, what i what, what i want to explain here is during the playback what qtp does is it compares these test objects with the runtime objects if there is a mismatch qtp throws an error okay and if there is no mismatch it will work as per the script steps got it now what i will do i will delete all these test objects okay 
now here I don't have anything now when I run the script what will happen here is it will throw an error saying that there are no objects present inside the object repository for each and every line okay now here you see the active time login browser object was not found in the object repository right let's stop this because we deleted all the objects why now my intention is to show you how to add the objects to the object repository okay open the object repository here you see this plus mark right add objects to local click on that you will get a hand icon and release your hand icon on a desired object on a desired object which you want to add to the object repository I selected that okay here you see web edit user name has come displayed so a complete hierarchy will be available over here okay, click on ok now here you see the username field has been displayed over here now I want to add another object which is password do the same thing click on the plus mark click ok here you see the password has been displayed over here and it has taken the properties and the property values again I want to take this link and store it in the object repository okay now you will not be having the script when you been when you add the objects manually to the object repository you will not have the script like this right you have to write the script now so you might be already you assume that already application is launched now you have to write the script for a login <coughs> sorry so what is the hierarchy for the web based application to write a script first browser then the page then the elements uh, on which you are going to perform an action right that is the hierarchy then we will write a browser of when you open a round brace the uh, value will be auto populated this will will be auto populated if you have more than two browsers then it will list okay as a drop down then you to you need to select the required one I'll show you that dot page of dot now what is this field is this field is been identified by QTP as a as a what web edit okay if you are confused if you don't know use the object spy I spy on the object here you see this one it has been identified as a web edit that means it belongs to the object class web edit then here you see if you have a similar kind of objects with the different names it will be listed like this so here also when you open uh, try write a browser off then if you have multiple browsers in the script then it will list like this then you are going to select the required object then you will enter that one now what is the operation that will perform on this object what is the operation that you perform on this object to enter the values you need to enter the type in the values in this one right so what is the operation what is the method that we know to enter the values into that one even if you don't know what you can do make use of object spy okay then spy the object and here you see go to the operations operations are nothing but a methods so earlier this has been called as a methods now they are calling it as a operations okay now we can perform these many actions or operations on a application on that particular object web edit object is there right so on that particular object we can perform these many operations okay read out one by one so when you are free time okay and just understand what each operation does and which will be useful for whenever it is required okay now I am seeing set set means it is a set operation and it's a description so what it is saying sets the text inside the edit box sets means enters the value in the edit box that means we are going to make use of a set 
Now set secure is also there. Sets the encrypted value. Okay, encrypted value. So when we enter a password, that's a encrypted value, right? If you are entering an encrypted value, you, sorry, if you are trying to type in an encrypted value, then you should use the set secure. If you are not typing a encrypted value, then just use only set. Okay. Now what is the operation for this web edit set? Now you will see it has listed all the operation that you can perform on that object. Now give the space enter a username. Okay. Now similarly now we are done with the entering of the username for the username field. Now browser of dot page dot web edit of now I have to enter the password. So if you have the encrypted string with you then make use of a set secure or else you can go with the set only. Okay. Then now what I have to do? I have to click on a login functionality. So that has been identified as a link. Instead of web button, it has been identified as a link. See here. Login. Now what kind of operation we perform on this link? Okay. For a web edit, we performed set. Right. So for a link kind of operation, link kind of objects, what operation we perform? Okay, if you know directly you can mention it, else if you don't know, take the object spy, okay, spy the object and go to the operations tab and see so which is which require which operation is required for you. Okay. Read out one by one initial stage. Since you are in initial stage, read out one by one in description. Okay. Now here is the click operation. Clicks the object click is the operation so what it does it, it clicks on the object normally also what we do <coughs> in the web based application web applications whenever we find a link so we will click it right the operation that we perform on the links are click okay now here we are done with this scripting of rent <coughs> login screen now we will go to the object repository and we will see whether it is getting highlighted. Yes. So we have added the proper objects. Okay. Properly. Now let us run the script and see whether our script is written properly or not using the object repository files. Fine. It is the script is written perfectly. It has entered the username and the password and it clicked on a login button okay so that is object repository how man how to add manually the objects to the object repository okay now here only because of the object repository only we are able to identify the objects qtp is able to identify so we have stored all the objects in the object repository and because of this only QTP is able to identify these objects inside the application. Right. Now, 